they come out and they do the two best things they're known to. They'll sing at the top of their voices and they pee in the wind. And as you're walking, you'll feel this mist because there'll be hundreds of cicadas. And that's when you look up and uh, if you get close enough, they're actually very good camouflage artists. They're very hard to find because they're brown. They camouflage uh, with, with the bark. This year, we're gonna get two broods that are gonna emerge at the same time. Um, and it's, uh, you know, if you're fascinated by a solar eclipse, that's gonna happen. This is just like that, but multiply by a hundred, a thousand. We're gonna get trillions of these amazing living organisms come out of the earth. They do is just climb up on trees and pee. Uh, that's, that's as much damage as they do. But yeah, if you uh, don't disturb them and scare them and get your iPhone out, you can actually catch uh, these jets uh, that they squirt uh, once every few seconds. Uh, one thing I should clarify that unlike mammalian human pee, Cicadas are feeding on xylem, which is again 95% water. It's very low nutrient and once it's processed by the cicada, they've taken much more of that 5%. So what's coming out is just water. So you don't have to worry. It isn't like our human pee. It's not disgusting. It's just, it's just water. So I think we get to appreciate, you know, this fragile planet we cohabitat with uh, so many beautiful uh, systems, small, but a lot in number and uh, you know, so much we don't know yet. It's 2024, we may have chat GPT, but we still have many, many questions we don't have answers for.